When you are designing something, yeah. how much are you saying, I need to give people what they're asking for versus you know, the now famous, I need to give people what they don't yet know they want? You, it's actually a combination of both, right? You, especially when you're doing something new, you, you're introducing new ways of doing things, new functionality, new technology. But I, I believe it needs to be in a familiar format that people understand, right? If, if you reinvent something to be entirely new, you're probably not going to get the acceptance that you want. So you sort of start with a basis of what people know and draw them into what it's doing that's new and, and beneficial in their lives. Could you give us an example of, of something you've worked on that kind of threads that needle a little bit? Yeah, the, the June oven was a great example because you know it, it uses an enormous amount of technology. It, it recognizes your food, it weighs it, it measures temperature, it, it, it follows a script in helping you cook, but ultimately it has to look and behave like an oven, right? And when we started, we said this, this could be anything but it needs to be a, an oven, just a, a damn good one, right? And the, so that, you know, if it was something that was a spherical ball floating on a magnetic cushion on your counter, people probably wouldn't have tried yeah, it. Wouldn't, it. wouldn't even know to put their food in. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Uh, when you think about design, and when I think about design, this whole idea of, of real simplicity, right, mm -hmm. yeah. is certainly appreciated. I'm wondering, uh, as a non-designer, how much of that is, is a trend, is something that is, is hot now, how much of that is just built into the way that things should be designed? Uh, for me, it's built in. It's always been that way. Right? Simple is, you know, simple is timeless. Simple is, is beautiful. Simple is the way things should be. Now, what, what's challenging today is things are very complex. So the, the art and process of making it simple is very challenging. And, and, and it takes a lot to do that. And we spend an enormous amount of time figuring out how to make complex technology very simple and understandable and easy. Because otherwise, again, it won't be successful. Yeah, you mentioned the oven. Uh, yeah. You have a, a coffee mug, a thermos as yeah. well. Uh, what's a product out there that you haven't worked on? What's a product that's in need of a redesign right oh, now? Oh, man. Um, I would say, you know, there, there's, a, there's a lot of things that I see, I see them constantly. And I have, I've, I have six kids, right? So I've gone through a lot. And, and constantly in, in children's products, there's just an enormous amount of bad design and non-functional design and waste, right? I really think that it, it's about time to start putting as much attention on products for children and their parents as we do putting on phones and watches and so forth. It's just a category that's not given enough attention. Yeah, I mean, a lot of the uh, products that I buy, sometimes the packaging is just gorgeous, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, it, you would know, we're coming yep. from Apple, right? Uh, that, that feeling of opening yeah. the box. At the same time, there are times I buy things and I'm like, there is so much material here that yes. I'm throwing away. Yeah. Uh, it seems wasteful. Yeah. How much does the idea of, of the environment of the product um, that you're actually using for packaging, how much does that come into play with you? Um, all, all across the board, um, especially in packaging, right? We're constantly looking at how to reduce material in packaging. But, but just in general, in all the product development, there's, we've reached a tipping point where in the past it was you know, a good thing to do if you can, right? And, and because it, usually there was a cost associated with making something sustainable. So companies kind of felt it was optional. Today, they don't have any choice. Consumers demand it which is great news because it's, we no longer have the arguments about whether to spend the time and money to make it sustainable. It's just something you have to do to be competitive.